All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I know this intro is kind of unorthodox for me, but it's a very confusing video today and I want to explain it to you. So basically I'm a big dumb idiot and I forgot to record the video for the first half of the original video today and that cut off half the Madden game, of course. But I didn't have a ton of time. Therefore, I couldn't just restart the video and start up a new game because if it took too long, I wouldn't get to finish it. So after the half of Madden game you guys get to see, I rank 10 teams randomly without knowing who's coming next. I'll put a refresher right before we start that so you guys know what's going on, but I want to apologize if this video seems like it's completely unorganized because it 100% is. However, keep in mind the Madden game you guys are about to see is absolutely historic for this channel. I'm stunned it happened. I hope you guys end up enjoying this video. A couple of quick things as always. One, head over to gfuel.com, use code Wyatt's World, save yourself a discount on any G Fuel products. And for two, if you're 18 years or older and would like to download the daily fantasy app known as Prize Picks, you can use code Wyatt's it's world to match up to $100 of your first deposit. Always play responsibly and sorry if this is confusing. All right, welcome back, guys. Yeah, I'm really just out of sorts right now. So when we get out of this, like I said, we'll go rank some players at random. But welcome back to another game of Madden. I am playing as the Colts, up 14 to nothing. We have two interceptions on the day. One of them was a pick six. And there's the third interception on the day, second for Shaquille Leonard. So yeah, the Vikings got Jalen Rager. That's just the most amazing news I've ever heard. I just, I don't understand, man. If we were going to trade, why didn't we trade for a center? Did I just fumble the ball? Jesus Christ. But if we're going to trade, trade for a center, dude. We should have just signed a receiver. We could have picked up Tyler Johnson from the Bucks before Houston got him. Also, the Eagles got a corner from the Saints. Was it Chauncey Gardner? The Eagles just flat out got a lot better yesterday. They got another DB and they got rid of Jalen Rager. Look at the red X glowing right now. Off the helmet! <laughs> I'm locked up. Why it won't let me score? Oh, not the play I thought. But for some reason, it's going to work. I don't know how. I can't explain those things. Actually, just as of like 20 seconds ago, Russell Wilson got a huge extension too. Holy shit. Let me complete this pass and I'll read it to you. Five years, $245 million contract with $165 million guaranteed. And he is worth every penny. I think Russ is a huge dork, man. Don't get me wrong, but people really underestimate how good he is. You gotta beat him out, you gotta beat him out, you gotta beat him out! No, 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 no! Bad clock management, Wyatt. Bad! This guy's been talking nonstop, too. I can't hear a word he's saying, but... Probably really unhappy. I can't believe I actually recorded half the video today without hitting record. Like, I don't have time to redo another video. Obviously, that's why I'm doing this, but I am actually so lost right now. I hope when I edit this, I can try and make it make sense to you guys. So I'm so sorry if you're confused. Don't worry, for this mistake, I'm going to pour boiling hot water over my own skin for five hours as punishment tonight. Just kidding, just kidding. I have a fantasy draft. That's kind of why I need to get things done. And I don't know my pick yet either. And the league is only half PPR, so it's a little bit bit different for how you draft not really sure what I'm gonna do either honestly like in general I've been in this league for three years I think and I've went Super Bowl playoffs and then last year was terrible because I picked CMC now I have never won a fantasy championship I have been in the Super Bowl in two leagues and I've been in the playoffs a few times but I, I don't have any titles I'm hungry boys I'm starving oh touchdown go 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 oh he slowed down too much was that Paris? I was, my boy. I'm gonna throw a pick. Yeah, I gotta get that out. I'll take the grounding, honestly. I was either gonna get sacked for a loss of 20 or I'll take 15 yards. That's a pick, Wyatt. No, oh, wow, what a throw. That was just insane. Buddy, you're going for it on fourth every time. So am I. <laughs> no way. All right, all right, all right. Let's see if we can pick him off five times in a game. Oh, wow. What? Stefan Gilmore! <laughs> it is just not your day, man. You're having one of those games where it's not letting you do anything. 
any other corner, that would have been a catch, but you know what? I will say this about this game. Offensively, it's very clear. I'm not very good. I'm still struggling a lot, but defensively, man, I'm a demon. I've picked off probably more people in this game than I did in the entire duration of Madden 22. Not realistically, but honestly, I'm probably going to be on pace to break it by November. Dude, I'm getting like four picks a game online. I'm not the only one struggling. I think they made AI just a little bit too smart, honestly. This is the weirdest Madden, though, for me. Like, I'm not saying weird in a bad way. Like I said, I I'll defend this game. I, I think it's fun. It's not perfect, but it's fun. But I don't play it that much. Like, I don't play it off YouTube at all, honestly. I play Mario Odyssey right now. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, I think Madden in general, like, I just, I just don't get that drive to play it, you know, for 10 hours a day anymore. Choo-choo, motherfucker. That wasn't even JT, that was Naheem Hines. What am I doing? And Coach Wyatt Muff with the worst play call in the history of eternity right there. Yeah, I know, shut up. Ow, dude. Have I even scored in front of you guys? I don't think I have. I think I've just picked him off like fucking four times. I don't know what it is, man. Like this game is, it's hard. Maybe it's the fact that I can't scramble with every quarterback in the game anymore, but it's definitely not simple. Oh, that was almost pick number six. I missed the tackle. He got popped there. I don't know how he got it out. Pick six! What? He only hits you right in the hands, my friend. Ah, oh, there it is! Ah! It's too early to yell like that. I've literally intercepted this man six times this game. Dude, I don't have time to do, like, anything, man. The old lines are just kind of trash. No way I get seven interceptions in a game. Like, I refuse to believe it's physically possible. Actually, I think it's been done in real life. Dude, I just gotta manually cover Kyle Pitts like that. It's gotta be Stephon Gilmore, though. Gilmore! That's seven picks, bro. You gotta go. Like, you gotta go. You gotta leave the game at this point. You've gotta go. Seven interceptions in one game. This is insane. I've never done this before. It's embarrassing I only have 14 points. Okay, I have 21 points to show for it now. Thank you, Jonathan. Can we get eight picks? This is ridiculous. He's gone. He is gone. That's the end of that. I'm, I'm absolutely stunned. All right, guys, so the Madden video's done, and what we're going to do is actually be ranking 10 teams, which I'm sure I'm going to talk about in the intro. But a quick refresher on how I do these lists. I'm going to be spinning a wheel 10 times. Every team I land on, I must rank them on a list of 1 to 10 without knowing who is coming next. There really isn't much more to explain on it, and I'm just going to shoot you guys right into it. So the first team is going to be the... Jags, perfect. I love starting with bad teams. I'll put them at number 10. I don't think they're going to be good this year. I think it's going to take a while. Offensively, Trevor just doesn't have the weapons aside from his running backs, who I think are both going to be stars. And defensively, they're just too young, man. They need to build. They need to adapt. I got four or five wins max there. I don't have a lot of success coming their way. All right, next team. Let's, let's keep it big and open now. Give me a good team. Or we'll just work up to the top slowly. We got the Bears. I genuinely believe Chicago might be the worst team in the league this year. And it's hard to even put them above the Jags, but I don't have a choice. It's encouraging, like I said the other day, that Fields looked so good in that last preseason game. But football is a game where you need points to win, and I don't have them scoring a lot of them. Defensively, you're always going to be disruptive, but you're going to struggle to win games. All right, next team. Oh, I thought it was going to be Miami. We got the Jets. Wow, we are really taking our time to get to the top here, aren't we? Realistically, any of these teams could finish 8 through 10. They're all the worst in their division. They all have super young quarterbacks. If I'm being blunt, though, I, I do think the Jets have more talent than either of these two on their roster. I just don't know if they're going to be able to put it together. I think Sauce Gardner will be one of the best corners in the league in the future. I think Zach Wilson has a chance to be really good. I think your running backs are fantastic. Your receivers are looking promising. I just don't think it's going to click, you know, instantly there. Next team, how about a good one? What is going on? Okay, I'm actually, I'm gonna put them six. They could be really bad and they could be playoff contenders. Derek Brown, Brian Burns, JC Horn, Jeremy Chin. Their defense has so much potential to be menaces, man. It's, it's actually frightening. And offensively, I've stated this a billion times. CMC's health and how Baker plays, but you guys have potential there and you have a lot of it. You could be like a top 10 offense if everything clicked. It's nuts. There's such a question mark for me. I think six is appropriate. All right, next team. There we go, 49ers. I think they're gonna be good. And if Trey doesn't work out, which I think he will, Jimmy's still there, and we know they're gonna be decent with Jimmy. Uh, I'll put him at four. 
They're definitely one of the best teams in the NFC, but AFC-wise, they got some competition. They cut Trey Sermon yesterday, too. That's kind of crazy to me. I didn't think he was that bad. Also, I'm not a 49ers fan, so I don't really know. Next team we got is the... Steelers, almost the Vikings. I wish I put the Panthers at seven knowing that I got the Steelers now because the Steelers still could be good. Their offense is what I think is going to struggle because they're so young. They're kind of rebuilding. However, if their defense doesn't allow points, they're not going to have to score a lot in order to win. And that's where it can be hard to place them. I'm going to put them seven. And I think they are a better team than the Panthers. I understand this is incorrect, but I don't have the confidence to put them at five. All right, next team. Uh, I'll put the Chiefs at uh, three, but deep down, I don't think their roster is better than San Francisco's. And, and knowing that they've got the big three and Andy Reid, Mahomes, and Kelsey, the magic there is never going to stop. But roster-wise, sincerely, I, I do not believe they're as good as San Francisco. I don't really like that placement, but I feel like the fans will. Next pick, or not pick, spin, I should say. Dallas? That I do like, but it's going to complicate the list for the last couple spins here. Uh, we can put them in five. They're not as good as Philly. I don't think they're going to even be that good this year. I think they'll be decent, but not like they were last year. However, comfortably, I do think Dallas is better than all of these teams right now. Besides maybe Pittsburgh. That one is still weary. Next team. Gotta be good now. We don't have a choice. Wow, and I do have a choice. That is fucked up. I mean, if I can pick, damn. Realistically, I think the Bills or the Rams will be the best team in the league this year. I'm gonna take the Bills because I'm a Bills fan and put them at number one. I mean, they have everything laid out in front of them. They have the path to the Super Bowl paved. All they gotta do is make sure their car doesn't run out of gas by the time it gets there. Don't fucking blow it. All right, and last team, it's gotta be number two. Bucks, Bucks, Bucks. Oh, the Lions, you fucking me. What do you guys think of this list? It is complete. Starting from the worst, working up to the best. We've got the Jags, the Bears, the Jets, the Steelers, the Panthers, the Cowboys, the 49ers, the Chiefs, the Lions, and the Bills. Uh, I think the Steelers and the Panthers should be flipped personally, and the Lions, obviously, I didn't have a choice there, but otherwise, the list isn't that bad. All right, guys, and that is going to be all for today's video. I hope it wasn't too confusing, and I hope you still enjoyed it. As always, you know the drill. Comment, like, subscribe, turn that bell on. I do my best to post on this channel every single day. And as far as this goes, I'm going to hop off and get this edited so you guys can watch it on time. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Thursday, and as always, I will see you in the next video.